Now, I'm not sure I've learned enough, but I can't I can't think of anything else to do, so I'm going to go back to the hotel and see if it gets me screwed. So, oh, what what did I say? It's been a very long day. You're in need of some sleep. Oh. Okay, I didn't I didn't know my character really needed to sleep. Okay. Can I go to bed then? Finally some rest for poor uh poor Rukov. You put the more cumbersome objects down on the bed and stretch out for a few seconds rest. Ten seconds later you're fast asleep. Zuz snore. What? You're woken up by a sharp kick in the side. Shit. No stupid heroics, Rukov. I seldom miss my target, and at this distance, never. Just move slowly into the bathroom. Who? He's got black hair. Well, purple, but this... Okay, let's obey for now. Chapkin is Chapkin. Oh, he turns on all the bathroom taps to... To hide the noise. You've been interfering with my girls, Rukov. What's more, I need to know who or what led you to my modest recording studio in room 418. You can either be sensible and give me the answers, or you can grit your teeth and refuse. It makes no difference to me. You'll be talking your head off whether you care to or not. So which is it to be? Hmm. Believe it or not, there's a gun pointing at you. That's not going to work, but... I could say the same thing about you, comrade. Chapkin clubs you with his gun, then you're answering your questions, then you die. Okay, let's try that again. Backtrack. <laughs> the hell? Maybe I should set a trap. How do I set? How can I set a trap? I don't have anything to trap him with. Maybe I could sleep in the. In can I sleep with the drunk? Yeah, let's let's uh, sleep with the. No, okay. <laughs> That'd be funny. Hmm. Interesting. Question mark? Alright. Let's decide to attack him and die. You've just realised... You've just enough time to realise he wasn't joking. Okay. <sighs> it's weird how far it lets me tra backtrack to. Sometimes it's just like the last action. I don't know. I guess it's... Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Let's try not moving. I'll kill you if you don't start moving. Hmm. I could die for the window? I'll die if I jump out the window. Okay, let's obey for now. Turns on all the bathroom taps. Okay. That's not going to work. Rather do it the hard way. Doesn't make any difference. I'm ready to talk. It's too late. We have the proof. I'll say that. It's never too late, Rukov, it's except where you're concerned. Uh, yeah. Okay. God damn it. Maybe I shouldn't sleep. Maybe I should, uh, you know, hide out in the warehouse or something. I don't know. Hmm. Why can't I lock my fucking door? Anyone into the hotels. I suppose he is KGB, so. Mm, I'm ready to talk. Yes, I thought you would. My father in law's assessment of your character was accurate. Now, who told you about room 418? Yeah, let's keep him talking. Maybe, uh. Oh, Savinkov is on his way. Maybe I can take him talking long enough, yeah. Okay, who told you about. Hmm. Some of your colleagues were persuaded to talk. Something tells me you're stalling, Rukov. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, consider. I noticed the two-way mirror. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true. I'm still stalling. Okay, I'm still dead. God damn it. Okay, what does he want us? What does he want to hear? Hmm. And it's not going to work, but Kuznetsov gave me a big fat file on your activities. No, it doesn't work. Hmm. 
Now here's an idea. If I use the word talk, yeah, the clue was with the uh, switch to voice activated playback. Ah, oh, wait a minute. If I if I plant this here, and he'll hear talking coming from outside, and that will distract him. Ooh, that's devious. And I'm so glad I thought of it. Oh, I hope that works, because that would be awesome. Yeah, come on. Obey. Oh, is it going to hear me from out there? Though? Oh no, he's turned on all the taps. I won't be able to hear. Oh no. I'm ready to talk, comrade. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, for... 418? Never heard of that. Okay, yeah. Let's go back. <laughs> Backtrack. Okay, so... There's a problem with the noise being the... Can I break the basin? <sighs> it's gonna have to be, uh... In here, isn't it? Turns on all the taps... Oops. Oh yeah, gotta t change it to uh, voice activated playback. And then... I mean, why would you have that feature anyway? in the toilet bowl put it in the shower okay it's far enough away from the taps maybe and sleep and kicked I'm sick of being kicked you purple headed knob right oh wait maybe that means the shower too and there's water all over my recording device I'm ready to talk comrade no it didn't work okay Oh, of course, I need to remove the headphones. Right, now it will play loudly. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, it's already on. I guess I'll just keep it on me. Should, or should I put it outside? Let's just, let's just try something. Let's just keep it on me and see if that works. Because it's got to it's gotta make it over the noise of the taps. Work. I'm ready to talk. Your recorder starts to play in the in the bedroom. Oh, of course, because I put it on the floor when I automatically. Chapkin's head whips round to see who's talking. Explain, not explain, you idiot. Wait for him to move into the bedroom. Seize the opportunity to attack. Yes, he's down. Sweet. When he wakes up, he'll have one hell of a headache. He'll find a syringe and a pistol. Oh, nasty. Amber colored fluid. God knows what that is. Silence pistol. Right, well, I guess I just better wait for Savinkov to turn up. Yeah, I should leave him there, I guess. Actually, I should sort of stand guard over him. Someone comes in. Oh, hello, Savinkov. Well, well, a little cramped for a three-way conference. Let's get him into the bedroom. Seven Cup directs Chapman into the bedroom, you follow. <laughs> what have we got here? Why, it's Comrade Chapkin. He appears to be coming to his senses. Chapkin's eyes flutter open. So, my friend, an errand boy's life is not an easy one. My father-in-law knows where I am, so back off, he says with his face planted in the ground. That doesn't seem right. Savinkov deals Chapkin a light kick in the ribs. Even if it were true, it would do a little good, Aaron Boy. Chapkin leaps to his feet and prepares to attack Savinkov. Before you can intervene, your controller whips out his pistol. Chapkin's dead body crumples to the floor. Rukov, how dare you permit prisoners of one wild? He could have killed me. Thanks to your incompetence, I was forced to liquidate him to save my own life. I sincerely hope you extracted from information from him. Are you starting a collection, Rupo? Let me see. Comrade Chapkin? Not all that surprising. Did he tell you anything interesting before passing away? No. A pity. The last suspicions about Kuznetsov seem to have been confirmed. Chapkin clearly intended to eliminate you. I imagined you learned something damaging at the Hotel Sivazma. Yes? Yes, indeed, Comrade Major. Don't hesitate to share your secret, Ruko. Uh, 
Let's see. Check into the secret room for filming clients. That's not without interest, but tell me this. What's Kuznetsov planning? Where? When? Did you learn that much? He's the one we're supposed to mail. He's the rotten potato in the KGB sack. The rest is secondary. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, probably that's not very good. I'll go back to the warehouse. Cut through. Uh, well, precious cutthroat, haven't you worked it out yet? Here's a plant, a classic blast from Kuznetsov to throw dust in your eyes. And even if that weren't the case, it's too late. As soon as Kuznetsov doesn't see Chapkin back with his report, the game's over. Return to Moscow, Rukov. My report will follow. Crap. Siberian ore refinery. Bollocks. Okay. See, can I talk to Chapkin? I mean, he's on the floor. The object he took, is that what he is? He's an object. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's, I wonder if I can wake him up by putting him in the shower. No. I so thought I could, like, spray him with water and... Maybe I should restrain him. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just inject him with this stuff and see what happens. As the needle enters his arms, Chapkin's eyes flutter. He begins to moan, then relaxes. Dude. Oh, it's truth serum! Yeah. <laughs> look at the silly sod. People look so weird in, in this distance and they do close up. Here we go. Time to get out my post-it notes. I've got so many of these fucking things now. Right. Oh. Tell me about the drug in the syringe. An experimental truth drug. Improved sodium pentothal. Very effective, but lethal. Oh fuck. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Look at his nose. Why do you? Why is your nose expanding and contracting? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> uh, I better ask him the right questions before this before he dies. Oh god, there's a lot of questions. Fuck. Okay. Let's start with uh, now. Kuznets. Who's Matsnev? That's what I need to know. Matsnev, that's a ship, a fishing vessel. What? Matsnev is a ship? She leaves key 19 at 2 o'clock this afternoon to pick up Mikuliev's crack. She picks the crack up at sea, then comes back. Matsnev is a ship. Okay. Tell me about Kuznetsov. He's my father-in-law. He serves the Soviet Union well. Mm. Tell me about Akabegov. He is a loyal officer, if over ambitious, because Nitsov and he don't get on well. Okay. Uh, what's your connection with the snuff videos? Sevchenko told me Mikuliev was working on a deal. Export snuff food movies from Moscow, import crack from Helsinki. Mikuliev was cutting Kuznetsov out. Usually he gives him a percentage of the profits. So my father-in-law decided to teach Mikuliev a lesson. He's going to the warehouse tomorrow night. Saturday night to kill Mikuliev. Oh, okay. Kuznetsov. Going to kill... Mikuliev. Okay. Sevchenko is going to pick up the crack from the ship Sunday morning. And then he and I take it to Kuznets of the Department 7. Okay. Right. Do the Americans work with you? No. Okay, interesting. Tell me about room 418. I use it to monitor certain foreigners. First, they are seduced by Tamara. Then she takes them to room 416. It used to be a honey trap. We would recruit the victims with the films. That doesn't work anymore, so we just record what they say. The information is sometimes useful. Hmm. Do you make... No, I don't think... They... Do you make the snuff movies in Room 416? No. Room 416 is used by prostitutes who work for me. They pay me a certain sum each week. They also inform on their clients. In exchange, I let them work. Okay. Who knows you're here? No one. Just you. I know who Mr. X is. Who is Yakuchev? He represents the Moscow people, the ones who make the videos, the go-between, I think. He's an Afghan war veteran and dangerous, I know nothing more about him. 
He's supposed to come for a share of the crack on Sunday morning when the ship gets in. But the warehouse will be empty. I should have been recording this, but I don't have the microphone. Hmm. Who are you working for? Department 7, Leningrad. I take orders from my father-in-law, Vladimir Ivanovich Kuznetsov. I also help him with certain unofficial activities. There is no reason why only the criminals should grow rich. <laughs> uh, right, so what does that make you? <laughs> Seven calf. Do you know someone called Protopopov? No. Okay. Have you heard of New Birth? No. Tell me about Savinkov. He's your controller. My father in law says he represents a danger to him. You yeah, know shit. We know you are attempting to destroy my father in law's career. We don't know why. I don't either. <laughs> What's your connection with the gang at the warehouse? One of them, Savchenko, is my informer. I have proof that could send him to a work camp for 20 years. I have no direct connection with his boss, Makuliev. Until now, he's been protected since he pays over a percentage of his profits to my father-in-law. I don't know the new man, Obukov. Sevchenko doesn't like him. Okay. Why did you send those killers after me? I don't understand. I sent no one. He didn't send the killers. Hmm. Tell me about... Who's Mr. X? I don't know. I asked Sevchenko, but he hasn't found out. Mr. X is Obukov's partner. They handle the arrival of the crack, so he doesn't know. So they don't know that Agabekov is Mr. X. They don't know they're working with him and they hate him. Mikuliev's job is to take care of it once it arrives Sunday morning. Only he'll be dead by that time. How did you get in? I am a Leningrad KGB officer. I can go almost anywhere I please. He's dead. Okay, I didn't get to ask him about Robnitsa, but I hope he's irrelevant. <laughs> okay, let's just wait for a controller. 